Hey there, rock stars here, Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today we are going to be talking about the two string arpeggio, okay? So let's break this down to some definitions. I'm gonna show you the proper picking pattern uh, to be effective in this really cool little technique, okay? So first off, an arpeggio is a chord where the notes are played separately or broken, okay? It's a, that's a loose definition uh, because we can get into trouble if we really paint that definition into a corner. But basically, it's when you're taking the notes of a chord and you are playing them separately, okay? So, obviously, you can play the classic arpeggio like this. Right? But in this case here, we're playing it electrically, and we're playing it in this case, on two strings. We can play it on three strings, four strings, one string, doesn't matter. All different types, So, and I have videos for all these. But um, specifically here, what we're gonna be talking about is the two string arpeggio, and we're gonna ramp you up to three, four, five, six, seven, nine strings if you care. No, we're just, we're gonna go to six strings. But uh, for right now, this is the two string arpeggio, and I'm gonna be doing all these in the key of C. And the reason that I'm doing that is because uh, within my blogs and on my website and what have you, when I tab these out for you, I want you to be able to see that uh, when we alter the chord, when we change it to diminished chord or minor, that sort of thing, you can look, if you know a little bit of music theory, you can look at the music for it and you can see, oh, that note is altered, okay? So, for instance, the, what we're going to be using here is a C major arpeggio, and it's based off of the C major chord. And we're going to move that chord up here. And basically, we're going to be playing the top two strings, and we're going to be adding this note right here. And this is a one, three, five pattern. Okay, so this is one, three, five. Okay, so one is played at the, at the 13th fret, second finger, and the first finger here is at the 12th fret. Of the, of the first string, and the pinky is going to be played at the 15th fret. Okay, those are that's how your hand's going to be, so you're at the 12th position. And you're going to pick down for the first two notes and up for the third note. Now, you may say, well, boy, this is real specific. Like, why are you being so specific? But this is how guys like Yngwie and Paul Gilbert and Tony McAlpine and these neoclassical guys um, execute these types of arpeggios. They are, they're very precise in the way that they pick. And there's a lot of uh, theory behind it, a lot of reasons behind it. In this case here, if we're picking down on the first note, down on the second note, and up on the third note, then we're in the position to play the next arpeggio. So like this. That sort of thing, okay? Um, now, this is not something that I practice a ton. This is why I'm not very fast at it. But I've seen guys get really, really fast at this with a little bit of practice. So it's something that um, that I'll add to my repertoire. But um, I'm not, I don't look. I don't think of myself as a shredder type you know, like Ingve. I wish I were. I, there's a lot of things I wish that I was. Um, I wish I was a baller. I wish I was taller. I wish I was, you know, that sort of thing. Um, you know that song? Yeah. You know that rap song? Remember that from the 90s? Anyhow, um, so here we go. So here's the idea is this is a major arpeggio. So uh, it's made of C major. And, um, and if this is the one, this is the three, and this is the five, then obviously if we alter that three, if we lower it a half step, then we can create a minor arpeggio. Okay, so here's our major. minor is just taking our first finger and dropping it back. Major. Minor. And if you know a little bit of theory, you'll know that a diminished chord is when we take the five and lower it a half step. So in, in that case here, we'd have the three lower to half step and the five lower to half step. So here's the three, here's the five. Both those guys are going down here, but the one staying where he was at. So I like to play it with my third finger like this. That's C diminished. So here's C major, C minor, C diminished. You can play it this way. 
or this way. Okay, now if you need tablatures for any of this, you can go to my blog. Um, the um, link is in the description below, as always. Okay, now um, you notice that what I'm doing here is I'm hitting these notes. I'm not doing this where the notes are running together, right? I'm using some a bit of left hand muting and a little bit of right hand muting, uh, which if you don't know how to do that, you need to know how to do that. It's very helpful when it comes to guitar. So uh, some people call it choking, muting, um, that sort of thing. But you need to know how to do that. So here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage muting, and I have several videos for showing you what to do with the left and right hand. Um, things with the thumb, things with the left hand, things with the right hand. Okay, but in short, what I'm doing here is after I hit a note, I release it, so like this. So I'm not lifting my finger up off the string, I'm not doing that, I'm just lifting it up off the fret. Now I'm also doing a little bit of right hand muting because I like that sound. Sounds really cool. Um, now, what you can do with this is you can play the scale, so going down the scale or up the scale, like. That sort of thing. Okay, now, you'd need to know the scale for that. And again, if you need more information about this, I have all this in the Unstoppable Guitar System. The link for that is below as well. You can get in there for $1, and I really teach this stuff extensively. So if you like this lesson, then great. Um, please hit thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. Uh, I want to help you with all your guitar needs. Anybody can play guitar, uh, just like anybody can do a lot of things if you practice and if you study. So let me know how I can help you. I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff, so I can help you there. Or you can leave your comment here, and chances are I will answer it personally. So uh, please, let me know how I can help. Um, as always, practice your guitar. Don't trust the man. Eat lots of veggies, be kind to animals, spay and neuter, all that good stuff. Oh, and my tip of the day, meditate. Dadgone it, if you don't meditate, you are missing out on a whole world of magic. I swear to God, ever since I've been meditating, which has been about a year or two now, I've been about two years, life-altering, life-changing. Um, anybody can do it. So look into it. Do a little research. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. Thanks for watching. See you.